Today I have an experiment. What happens if you put these hot mustard Doritos on a pork butt? We're gonna start off by taking about half of the bag of Doritos and blending them up. And also, I'm gonna put in Honey Hog Barbecue by Meat Church. I'd say that's around four tablespoons that I just put in. Then we're gonna blend this until it turns into a powder. Now that we have our Doritos ready, we just need to get our pork butt going. This is just a standard eight pound bone-in pork butt. Just kind of dry it off real fast. We're not gonna do any trimming. I am gonna use a binder today of some Frank's Red Hot. Start putting our Doritos next year on. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna go outside and get my fire started. Made a rookie move today. I went to go start my fire on my auto propane, so I'm gonna have to do it a different way. Luckily, I keep some fire starters on hand. And Lucy wants to make sure they're good to go. All right, charcoal is nice and hot. All right, we got our pit rocking right around 250, 275. I'm just gonna throw the pork butt on. Not gonna touch it for about two hours. Just gonna keep the temperatures even on the smoker. Okay, we're about two hours in. Just over 100 degrees internal. I'm gonna start spraying the sides, not the fat cap. We don't wanna reduce the temperature of the fat cap. We wanna let it continue to render. So we're just gonna hit the sides. This is a 50-50 
mix apple cider vinegar and water. We'll continue to spritz about once every 30 minutes. Okay, we've been maintaining our 275, 250 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. We now have the fat completely rendered. It is, this goes right through it to the touch. So it's time to wrap. Simple, simple sheet of aluminum foil. Place our thermometer back in. Okay, continue cooking until we reach about 200 degrees inside and then after that we'll just continue to probe for tenderness. We reach an internal temperature of about 204 degrees and it's been probing pretty tender for a good while so let's go ahead and peel, take it off. Did add an extra tray underneath just to catch some of the juices that we're trying to we're starting to fall out. We will let this rest and we'll pull it here shortly. Okay, we've cooled down quite a bit. It's about 160 inside. Unwrap, see what we have. Meat gives no resistance whatsoever. There again, you can see the bone. No meat stuck to it, just fell right off. Should let that cool down a little bit more. It is still extremely hot. Okay, let's give it a little taste here for some, see if we need to add more seasoning or anything. Mm. I have an idea. Let's take the remainder of what I didn't use. Add some more honey hog to this.
There we go. Just needed some more, a little bit more flavor and some of that salt from the, from the seasoning. There we go. I think that was a success. Give the, if you give this a try, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy these types of videos, give me a like and subscribe.